Hello, this is Steve with Hydrogen for Health. Today we're going to do an unboxing video of our all new H2 Pro 150. This unit is completely portable. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and I'm going to show you the different components and also going to show you how it works and the different features. First off, it comes in a nice carrying case. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, first off, let's take a look at the inhalation unit itself. You can see how small it is. It generates 150 milliliters per minute of hydrogen gas. It also will make hydrogen water, and I'll show you how to do that also. Next, we have the comes with several nasal cannulas. Here we have a condensation trap and silicone nasal cannula. So you get one silicone nasal cannula. And this is a extension hose for the water diffuser stone, I'll show you. Right here we have the power supply. That there just plugs into the wall and you plug this into the back of the unit. Here we have the user's manual. And this is for making hydrogen water. You can see the fusion stone here. This is one of the easiest inhalers we sell to use and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now. First thing you want to do is fill it with water. Now this generator only uses distilled water. You don't have to add any lye to the water so you're just going to use straight distilled water in this machine. To fill it all we need to do is take our cap off. You simply Turn the cap counterclockwise and it comes off. We'll fill it with water up to the full arrow here. There's a little small arrow here that indicates when it's full. We'll get some distilled water. You can get this at just about any grocery store. Any uh, distilled water with a two or less TDS will work. Most distilled water will measure zero TDS and that's perfect. So just go ahead and fill it up. Okay, we're about to the full line there. So I fill it up to that little arrow there. You can see the, there's another arrow down here at the bottom and it indicates that when it gets down to there that you need to fill the machine up. So we'll go ahead and put the cap back on. Now let's plug in the power supply. Here is the power outlet. Let's go ahead and plug that into there. The other end you'll plug into the wall and then connect it to the power adapter. You can hear it made an audible sound. That means that it is plugged in and it has power. At this point, we want to connect our nasal cannula to the machine. You just take your end. You're going to pull this little cap off. and press that down into the machine. Next thing you need to do is just press the button. You can see there is making gas. Then you're ready to inhale hydrogen. How do you know if the hydrogen is flowing? Simply get a glass of water and put your cannula down into the glass of water. You can see that it is producing hydrogen. The machine has an internal counter that will count down one hour and then it will stop. It also has a two hour and a three hour mode. To put it on the two hour mode, press the button again. You'll hear two beeps, that's the two hour mode. Press it again, and that's the three hour mode. It will count down from three hours and then it will shut off. And you press it again to shut it off. 
so you can see how easy this machine is to use. To give you an idea how big this machine is, this is the H2 Pro 300 and it's about 10 times the size of our small portable H2 Pro 150. Now I'll show you how easy it is to make hydrogen water. All we're going to do is take our adapter, press it onto the end of our hydrogen diffusion stone. Now we'll go ahead and hook it to the inhaler. Get yourself some water and drop the diffuser stone into the water. This will make hydrogen water at a concentration of up to 1.2 ppm. You can find this great product at www.hydrogen4health.com. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.